Good evening, this is Luke Thomas Humquist at the Earthquake Forecast Center. It is 1027 in the evening on Tuesday, April 20th, 2021. And we have a earthquake warning for Southern California. And the highest risk is in the Los Angeles area. Let's go over to that right now. So in the San Francisco area, the earthquake risk level is at 328% above the average risk level on the 23rd, 22nd of the 23rd. So very high risk in uh, San Francisco. In El Centro, which is down near the Salton Sea, the risk level is 320% above the normal risk level. So very high risk on the 22nd, 23rd down near the Salton Sea. And the highest risk level is in the Los Angeles area. And that's this graph right here. You can check these graphs out at quakeprediction.com. And this is 528% uh, above normal in the Los Angeles area, the Los Angeles airport. This is 528% above the average risk level on the 22nd to the 23rd. That could produce a 5.0 to 6.0 earthquake in uh, California and more specifically the Los Angeles area, 22nd of April and the 23rd. And I looked at some of the other cities in that area. Palm Springs is 422% above uh, risk, the risk, normal risk level. Ontario, 544, Los Angeles, 528. Irvine is 553. So the highest risk level is in Irvine, California. And uh, the highest, uh, Risk level is centered kind of somewhere in between the uh, Irvine and Ontario, right more specifically around the Yorba Linda area. So that's where this uh, 5.0, 6.0 earthquake is most likely to hit, right around uh, Yorba Linda in the Anaheim area there near uh, Yorba Linda and Irvine and uh, southeast of uh, Los Angeles. Of course, it's likely in uh, California, but most likely in the Los Angeles area, more specifically in the Yorba Linda area is the highest risk level. All right, let's uh, visit some of the other uh, forecast maps. Uh, the Anchorage, uh, the risk level has uh, been uh, going down. The risk level is falling in uh, Anchorage. And in Hawaii, quite a low risk across uh, in Hilo, Hawaii. And over in uh, Seattle, Washington, the risk level is uh, pretty low across uh, the next the next few days. And in Athens, Greece, here's a uh, we have a warning for Athens, Greece, coming up on late on the 21st into the 22nd. There could be a 6.0 earthquake in Greece, and uh, also the risk level is very high in the uh, Istanbul, Turkey, as well. And you can see that here is also the 21st and the 22nd. And uh, so watch for that. If you live in uh, Greece, strong earthquake is likely uh, late on the 21st and early on the 22nd of April in Greece. All right, in Bogota, Colombia, uh, risky level is at around 75% on the 23rd. And over in Puerto Rico, Puerto Rico's risk uh, climbs to 98% on the 22nd, 22nd of April. And in Santiago, Chile, we had some strong earthquakes offshore during this uh, spike in risk here on the 18th and the 19th. And uh, Croatia, uh, the risk level has been falling off now after the 20th. The risk is uh, kind of moderate after the 20th. And in Costa Rica, we had a spike in risk on the 18th and 19th here. And otherwise, the risk is falling off after that. And in Cyprus, Cyprus risk, the, the risk is uh, quite low. And Quito, Ecuador. Quito, Ecuador is uh, at a 4.9 on this spike in risk here on the 18th and the 19th. And otherwise, it's a uh, pretty low risk right now. El Salvador, 
the risk level is uh, pretty low right now in Guatemala. Uh, moderate risk uh, for the next uh, 24 to 48 hours, 50 to 53 percent, 52, 53 percent risk. In Iceland, Iceland, Reykjavik, the risk uh, goes up on the 20th. And um, so this could also uh, signify an increase in the volcanic activity in that volcano that's erupting uh, near Reykjavik as well. Here, there's another spike in risk on the late on the 22nd and the 23rd, and that could produce an earthquake or increased volcanic activity. Indonesia, this is a forecast for just around the Jakarta, Indonesia area. The risk uh, rises to 43% on the uh, 20th into the 21st here. And this Italy forecast is specifically for the Perugia. And uh, we have a risk level rises quite high on the, on the 21st of April. And uh, here's a, there's a warning. We have a strong spike in risk on, um, on the 22nd of April. This spike here in, in risk produced a 5.6 northeast of Tokyo. And this one here could produce a 6.0 earthquake in the Tokyo to Sendai region. And uh, that could produce a 6.0 on the 22nd of April. So watch for that if you're in Japan. And in Lima, Peru, we have a couple spikes here. This one's coming up uh, late in the 21st. And then uh, some smaller, uh, well, actually, that's 80% there on the late in the 23rd. And then New Zealand, this is for uh, Wellington, New Zealand. Uh, there's 86% on the 20th. And then the risk of uh, is moderately high after that. Nicaragua. This is for Managua. We have a spike in risk on the 19th there, but now we're in the 20th, so the risk is uh, about 65% on the 21st here. And Manila, Philippines. The risk rises to about 85, 86% on the 22nd. That's a pretty high risk there and on the 22nd of April. And a couple more here, Taiwan. We had a 5.8 on this spike in risk here, the 18th into the 19th. And now this is a very high risk on the 22nd of the 23rd. That could produce a 6.0 earthquake around the Taiwan and the Ryukyu Islands area. So keep an eye out for that on the 22nd into the 23rd. And once again, we have that uh, warning for the Istanbul and Greece area late in the 21st into the morning of the 22nd. And that could produce a 6.0 earthquake, most likely uh, near southeast of uh, Athens, Greece. Uh, but anywhere in Greece, this is a uh, risk level is for from Athens, Greece to uh, Istanbul, Turkey. So once again, in the Los Angeles area, we have a very strong uh, spike in risk from the 22nd of April into the 23rd. So this looks like the late on the 22nd into the 23rd. It could happen anytime on the 22nd, 23rd, but most likely late on the 22nd, early on the 23rd. And this is a 5.0 to 6.0 earthquake as possible. And most likely in the area between Irvine and Ontario, uh, right around the Yorba Linda area. So, be prepared for that. We will talk to you again uh, tomorrow night, which is Wednesday night. And uh, we'll give you an update, maybe a different, uh, we get some more maps available, more uh, visual maps besides the graphs and uh, keep you updated. Stay safe, especially in uh, Southern California. Keep an eye out for that coming up on the 22nd, which is, what is that, the Thursday? 22nd and the 23rd is Thursday into Friday. All right. Talk to you later. We'll talk to you tomorrow and uh, on Wednesday night. And uh, have a good night. Have a good Wednesday. We'll talk to you Wednesday night. God bless and we'll see you later.